Have you ever felt held back by fear, unable to become the person you truly want to be? In this video, we'll explore how Stoic philosophy can guide you on the path to overcoming your fears and embracing your true potential. Before we dive in, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might benefit from these insights. And here's a challenge for you. As you watch, think about a fear that has been holding you back. Comment below with your thoughts and one actionable step you can take today to start overcoming that fear. Let's embark on this journey together. 1. Understanding Fear and Its Origins Understanding the origins of fear is the first step in becoming who you're afraid to be. Fear is a natural human emotion that can protect us from danger, but it can also hold us back from realizing our true potential. Stoic philosophy provides valuable insights into how fear operates and how we can overcome it to live authentically. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. He said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote highlights how much of our fear is rooted in our thoughts and perceptions rather than in actual events. By understanding that fear often stems from our imagination, we can begin to address it more effectively. Fear often arises from past experiences, societal conditioning, and the unknown. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. This quote reminds us, that our fears are often based on our interpretations of events rather than the events themselves. By changing our perspective, we can reduce the power of fear over us. To understand fear, we must also recognize its role in our lives. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher and statesman said, there are more things likely to frighten us than there are to crush us. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote emphasizes that fear is often disproportionate to the actual threat. By acknowledging this, we can begin to confront our fears with a more rational and balanced mindset. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a fear that has been holding you back. Identify its origins and consider how much of it is based on your imagination. Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to address this fear. 2. The Role of Courage in Stoicism Courage is a central virtue in Stoic philosophy, essential for personal growth and overcoming fear. To become who you're afraid to be, you must cultivate and practice courage in your daily life. Stoicism teaches that courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act despite it. Epictetus emphasized the importance of courage in facing life's challenges. He said, the greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. This quote highlights that true courage is demonstrated in the face of adversity. By embracing challenges, we can develop the courage needed to overcome our fears and pursue our true potential. Marcus Aurelius also wrote about the significance of courage. He stated, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote encourages us to focus on our internal strength and resilience. By recognizing our power to control our thoughts and reactions, we can cultivate the courage to face our fears and live authentically. Seneca, too, emphasized the role of courage in personal growth. He said, sometimes even to live is an act of courage. This quote underscores that courage is required not only in extraordinary circumstances, but also in everyday life. By practicing courage in small daily actions, we can build the strength to face larger fears and challenges. To cultivate courage, it is helpful to start with small, manageable steps. By gradually exposing ourselves to situations that make us uncomfortable, we can build confidence and resilience. This process, known as desensitization, allows us to confront our fears incrementally and develop the courage needed to overcome them. Here is a small challenge for you. 
Identify a small fear or discomfort you can face today. Take a step towards confronting it, no matter how small. Comment below with your experience and how it felt to practice courage. 3. Embracing Vulnerability Embracing vulnerability is a powerful step towards becoming who you're afraid to be. Vulnerability involves acknowledging and accepting your weaknesses, fears, and imperfections. Stoic philosophy teaches that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a path to true strength and authenticity. Epictetus emphasized the importance of self-awareness and acceptance. He said, He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. This quote encourages us to adopt a lighthearted and humble attitude towards our imperfections. By accepting our vulnerabilities, we can reduce the pressure to be perfect and live more authentically. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This quote underscores the value of acceptance and genuine connection. By embracing vulnerability, we can build deeper and more meaningful relationships based on mutual understanding and authenticity. Seneca also highlighted the power of vulnerability and personal growth. He said, What progress, you ask, have I made? I have begun to be a friend to myself. This quote emphasizes that self-acceptance and vulnerability are key to personal growth and self-discovery. By becoming a friend to ourselves, we can embrace our true selves and live more authentically. To embrace vulnerability, it is essential to practice self-compassion and kindness. Stoicism teaches that we should treat ourselves with the same understanding and empathy that we would offer to others. By being kind and compassionate towards ourselves, we can embrace our vulnerabilities and use them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a vulnerability or imperfection you have been hiding. How can you embrace it and use it as a path to growth? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to embrace your vulnerability. 4. Overcoming Fear of Failure The fear of failure is one of the most common fears that hold people back from becoming who they truly are. Stoic philosophy offers valuable insights on how to face and overcome this fear allowing us to pursue our true potential without being paralyzed by the possibility of failure. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of focusing on what is within our control. He said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This quote highlights that failure itself is not as significant as our response to it. By focusing on our actions and reactions, we can overcome the fear of failure and continue moving forward. Marcus Aurelius wrote about the inevitability of setbacks and the importance of resilience. He stated, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This quote encourages us to view obstacles and failures as opportunities for growth. By adopting this mindset, we can turn setbacks into valuable learning experiences and continue to progress towards our goals. Seneca also addressed the fear of failure, emphasizing the importance of perseverance. He said, A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. This quote reminds us that failure is an essential part of personal growth and self-improvement. By embracing failure as a natural part of the learning process, we can build resilience and develop the strength to overcome future challenges. To overcome the fear of failure, it is helpful to set realistic goals and break them down into smaller, manageable steps. By focusing on incremental progress, we can reduce the pressure to achieve perfection and build confidence in our abilities. Additionally, practicing self-compassion and forgiving ourselves for mistakes can help us move past failures and continue striving towards our true potential. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent failure or setback you experienced. How can you reframe it as a learning opportunity? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to overcome the fear of failure. 5. Letting go of external validation. 
Letting go of external validation is crucial for becoming who you're afraid to be. Many people seek approval and validation from others, which can prevent them from living authentically and pursuing their true potential. Stoic philosophy teaches that true contentment and self-worth come from within, not from external sources. Epictetus emphasized the importance of internal validation. He said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This quote encourages us to focus on our inner values and desires, rather than seeking external approval. By letting go of the need for validation from others, we can live more authentically and with greater integrity. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote reminds us that our happiness and self-worth are determined by our internal state, not by external validation. By cultivating positive and constructive thoughts, we can develop a strong sense of self-worth that is independent of others' opinions. Seneca also addressed the issue of external validation, emphasizing the importance of self-awareness. He said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This quote highlights that the constant pursuit of external validation can lead to dissatisfaction and a lack of fulfillment. By focusing on our inner values and finding contentment within ourselves, we can let go of the need for external approval. To let go of external validation, it is helpful to practice self-reflection and mindfulness. These practices allow us to examine our thoughts and behaviors and identify areas where we are seeking approval from others. By becoming more self-aware, we can shift our focus to internal validation and live more authentically. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a situation where you sought validation from others. How can you shift your focus to internal validation? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to let go of external validation. 6. Practicing Self-Compassion Practicing self-compassion is a vital component of becoming who you're afraid to be. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness and understanding, especially in times of failure or difficulty. Stoic philosophy offers profound insights into the importance of self-compassion and how it can foster personal growth and authenticity. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, Don't let your reflection on the whole sweep of life crush you. Don't fill your mind with all the bad things that might still happen. Stay focused on the present situation and ask yourself why it's so unbearable and can't be survived. This quote emphasizes the importance of focusing on the present moment and treating ourselves with compassion. By avoiding the tendency to catastrophize and instead addressing our immediate circumstances with kindness, we can cultivate a more resilient and compassionate mindset. Epictetus also emphasized the importance of self-compassion and self-care. He said, If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. This quote encourages us to accept our imperfections and mistakes without harsh self-criticism. By embracing our flaws and treating ourselves with understanding, we can foster a growth mindset and continue to strive towards our true potential. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, advised, Begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. This quote highlights the value of self-compassion in the context of living mindfully and fully. By treating each day as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement, we can cultivate a more compassionate and forgiving attitude towards ourselves. To practice self-compassion, it is helpful to engage in self-reflection and mindfulness. These practices allow us to become more aware of our self-critical thoughts and replace them with kinder and more supportive ones. Additionally, self-compassion can be cultivated through self-care activities such as meditation, journaling, and spending time in nature. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent situation where you were critical of yourself. How can you practice self-compassion in this context? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to be kinder to yourself. 7. Facing Social Judgments 
Facing social judgments is a significant challenge in the journey to becoming who you're afraid to be. Social judgments can create pressure to conform and prevent us from living authentically. Stoic philosophy offers valuable guidance on how to deal with social judgments and maintain our integrity. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said, If you are ever tempted to look for outside approval, realize that you have compromised your integrity. If you need a witness, be your own. This quote emphasizes the importance of relying on our internal sense of integrity rather than seeking approval from others. By being our own witness and staying true to our values, we can face social judgments with confidence and resilience. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinions of himself than on the opinions of others. This quote highlights the paradox of valuing others' opinions more than our own. By recognizing this tendency, we can shift our focus to our own values and beliefs and reduce the impact of social judgments. Seneca also addressed the issue of social judgments, advising, associate with people who are likely to improve you. This quote encourages us to surround ourselves with supportive and like-minded individuals who share our values. By building a network of positive relationships, we can create an environment that supports our authenticity and reduces the influence of negative social judgments. To face social judgments, it is helpful to practice self-affirmation and reinforce our commitment to our values. By regularly reminding ourselves of our principles and the reasons behind our actions, we can strengthen our resolve to live authentically. Additionally, engaging in activities that align with our values can help us build confidence and resilience in the face of social judgments. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent situation where you felt judged by others. How can you stay true to your values and reduce the impact of social judgments? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to face social judgments with confidence. 8. Building Resilience Building resilience is essential for becoming who you're afraid to be. Resilience involves developing mental and emotional strength to withstand challenges and setbacks. Stoic philosophy provides practical strategies for cultivating resilience and maintaining a positive and determined mindset. Epictetus emphasized the importance of resilience in facing life's challenges. He said, the greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. This quote highlights that resilience is built through overcoming difficulties. By embracing challenges and viewing them as opportunities for growth, we can develop the resilience needed to pursue our true potential. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote emphasizes that true strength and resilience come from our ability to control our thoughts and reactions. By focusing on our internal responses rather than external circumstances, we can cultivate a more resilient mindset. Seneca also addressed the importance of resilience, advising, sometimes even to live is an act of courage. This quote underscores that resilience is not only required in extraordinary situations but also in everyday life. By practicing resilience in daily challenges, we can build the strength to face larger adversities. To build resilience, it is helpful to adopt a growth mindset and view setbacks as learning opportunities. By reframing challenges as valuable experiences, we can develop a more positive and resilient outlook. Additionally, practicing mindfulness and self-care can help us maintain our mental and emotional well-being, contributing to our overall resilience. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent challenge or setback you faced. How can you view it as an opportunity for growth? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to build resilience. 9. Aligning Actions with Values Aligning actions with values is a critical aspect of becoming who you're afraid to be. It involves ensuring that your daily behaviors and decisions 
reflect your core values and beliefs. Stoic philosophy teaches that living in accordance with our values is essential for authenticity and fulfillment. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This quote emphasizes that our actions and behaviors are shaped by our thoughts and intentions. By aligning our actions with our true values, we can cultivate a sense of inner harmony and authenticity. Epictetus advised, First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This quote encourages us to define our intentions clearly and then take deliberate actions to embody those intentions. By being mindful of our choices and ensuring they align with our values, we can live more authentically and with greater purpose. Seneca also highlighted the importance of aligning actions with values. He said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This quote reminds us to focus on our inner values rather than external desires and to act in accordance with our true principles. To align actions with values, it is helpful to set clear goals and priorities. By identifying what is most important to you, and creating a plan to achieve those goals, you can ensure that your actions reflect your true intentions. Additionally, practicing mindfulness and presence in your daily life can help you stay true to your values. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent action you took. Was it aligned with your true intentions and values? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to ensure your actions align with your values moving forward. 10. Continuous Self-Improvement Continuous self-improvement is a fundamental principle in Stoic philosophy and an essential part of becoming who you're afraid to be. It involves a commitment to ongoing personal growth and development, striving to become the best version of yourself. Epictetus emphasized the importance of continuous self-improvement. He said, If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. This quote encourages us to embrace the learning process, even if it means making mistakes and appearing imperfect. By being open to growth and learning, we can continually improve ourselves. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This quote highlights the importance of taking action and striving for self-improvement rather than merely discussing it. By actively working towards becoming a better person, we can make meaningful progress in our personal growth. Seneca also advised on the value of continuous self-improvement, stating, As long as you live, keep learning how to live. This quote underscores that personal growth is a lifelong journey. By maintaining a mindset of continuous learning and self-improvement, we can achieve greater fulfillment and authenticity. To engage in continuous self-improvement, it is helpful to set specific, achievable goals and regularly assess your progress. By breaking down your goals into manageable steps and celebrating your achievements along the way, you can maintain motivation and focus. Additionally, seeking feedback from others and being open to constructive criticism can help you identify areas for improvement and make positive changes. Here is a small challenge for you. Reflect on an area of your life where you would like to improve. What specific steps can you take to work towards this improvement? Comment below with your reflections and one actionable step you can take towards continuous self-improvement. Becoming who you're afraid to be is a journey that requires courage, resilience, and a commitment to authenticity. Through the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, We've explored how to understand and confront your fears, embrace vulnerability, let go of external validation, and align your actions with your values. Each of these steps brings you closer to living a life true to yourself and your principles. Remember, the teachings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca provide timeless guidance on overcoming fear and living authentically. By practicing self-compassion, Facing social judgments with confidence and continuously striving for self-improvement, you can transform your fears into opportunities for growth 
and self-discovery. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from these insights. Don't forget to comment below with your reflections on the challenges we discussed and how you plan to incorporate these Stoic principles into your life. Together, let's support each other in the journey toward becoming who we're meant to be. Thank you for watching.